But first, some of Silicon Valley's biggest tech companies will face some tough questions on Capitol Hill this morning. It is Tuesday, October 31st. I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Michelle Griego. This comes as many are finding more signs of Russian election activity. KPIX 5's Sandra Osborne is live in front of Facebook headquarters with a look at what to expect. Sandra? Hey, good morning. And representatives from many of the top Silicon Valley internet companies will be meeting in D.C. today to really talk about the scope of disinformation posted online from what they believe are Russian operatives during the 2016 U.S. election cycle. Now, leaders here at Facebook, they believe 126 million users may have seen posts from Russian operatives. That number, by the way, much higher than previously thought. Google says it's found some, some evidence of what they call misuse Use of its platforms by a pro Russian government group. They also say they found 18 YouTube channels likely backed by Russian agents. Uh, that's according to the Associated Press, although they didn't receive many views before or during the election cycle. Here in California, uh, we're busy looking into a series of hearings and uh, interviews and, and, and making sure we get to the bottom of this. The, the bottom line is this, is that when Washington won't lead, we will pick up the baton and we will uh, lead ourselves. And that was Senator Kevin DeLeon from Los Angeles earlier this month saying he hopes to investigate on a state level regardless of the latest judiciary hearings. And the Senate Judiciary hearing, by the way, that's scheduled to start at 2.30 this afternoon Eastern time in Washington, D.C., again with some representatives from top Internet companies like Google, Twitter, and Facebook. This hearing today, this is the first of a series of three this week. Reporting live from Menlo Park, Sandra Osborne, KPIX 5.